Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy, the show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors, and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, so you make sure that you stay until the end. Also, if you don't own Luminar Neo or the HDR Merge plugin, get our discount code to get the best possible price, and you can find it in the description of this video. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In this tutorial, you will learn a fantastic technique to recreate realistic skin texture in Luminar Neo. We will use a unique skin texture with our layers panel and bring back some of the skin details that can sometimes go missing through retouching or lighting of the portrait. So as you can see, I'm already in Luminar Neo and we are starting in catalog module. I'm looking at the sample files and as always, if you want to join me and do the edit on your own computer, all you need to do is to head into the description of this video, follow the link there and you will be able to download the files and then import them into your own application. Once you're ready, we will start by selecting the first image and move it into edit module. Once we in the edit module, I want to show you two reasons on how you can end up with the soft skin. But before we going to do that, I want to quickly mention that this tutorial is powered by our Luminar Neo masterclass. This masterclass will allow you to master your editing workflow using the full power of Luminar Neo. It contains over 69 lessons with over six hours of training videos in 4K quality. To get the best possible price for our Luminar Neo Masterclass, simply follow the link in the description of this video. If you want to learn more about it, make sure to visit our website cleverphotographer.com. And now let's go back to our edit and look at the reasons why we ending up with a soft skin. First one is an too much of the denoise tool. Well, imagine this situation. You have captured this portrait in a low light situation. You have a lots of noise and you want to fix it with the use of the denoise tool. So for this, we need to go into the essentials tools, open the denoise and increase the luminosity slider. So you push it lot, lot, lot to somewhere around 90. And when the tool is finished, and we come back to the portrait, you will see that we almost lost all the details and all the texture on the face. It almost looks like it's been painted with the watercolors. Let me show you the before and after, and the difference is huge. So this is where you really need to remember that when you're applying the luminosity in a denoise tool and trying to remove the noise, you want to be careful with the slider as you can end up with really unnatural result. So let's just remove this and close this. So this is the first thing and a first technique that can cause a soft skin on your portrait. Another thing that can cause this soft skin are some of the special new AI tools which are available on the social platforms and on the mobile phones. And we also have this tool available here in Luminar Neo when we move down to the list and go into the skin AI tool. When we open it, here we have the amount slider and when we push the amount slider all the way, you will see how we end up almost with the same result as when we use the denoise tool. We again have this very glowy and soft skin with almost all the details lost. Now the result isn't that bad, it's not as bad as it was with the denoise tool. However, still it really looks very unnatural. So let's have a look before and after, and you can see the difference. So if you're gonna use tools like this, always make sure that you use them with a caution, don't go too high and just find the right balance to get the natural result. So we're gonna reset this, close this and we can continue. Just before we go back to the catalog, the learning from here is that all these tools are available for you. However, you need to use them carefully to make sure that you don't overdo it and end up with something that is not natural at all. But sometimes, no matter what, you end up with a soft skin. So how to fix this? 
Well, for that, we're going to go into our catalog module. We're going to select the second picture and move it into the edit module. Looking at this picture, you can see that it's already soft and it has a lot of glow. So how can we recreate some of the texture and details back on the skin? Well, for this, we're going to use our layers panel. Navigate to there, click on the plus sign and click on load image. After this, navigate into your sample files and open the folder with the skin textures. With the sample files, you will get the three textures. You can keep them. You can use them on all your photos and future projects. It's just really up to you what's going to work the best for you. But for this project, we're just going to pick up the skin texture hard, click on it, select it and click on open. It will load into our folder here in my images. And now I can just click on it and add it into our layers panel. As you can see, it only takes a second and it appears on our image. Don't forget that it's always the layer that has a blue frame around it, which is selected. So we have the new texture selected and now we can move into layer properties and here increase the opacity to 100. After this, I want you to change the blend mode from normal into the overlay, or you can also try the soft light. Depends which result you prefer. In this example, the soft light blend mode looks a little bit more natural. So we're going to leave it there. Now let's go back to our picture and you can see that when I hover over the texture, I have a mouse turned into this hand. When I drag it now around, I can adjust its position. So what I want to do is I want to place it only over the areas where there is a skin. So I can place it somewhere here and now I can hover over the sides and basically just push it around to make sure that it covers the skin. Once I'm happy with the position, we can continue. What we need to do now is to make sure that the skin texture is only applied to the areas with the skin, because now you can see it also applies the texture to the wall, to the clothes, maybe to the lips and so on. So that's not the result we are looking for. Well, for this, we're going to use simple masking. So let's make sure we have our texture selected. So again, click on it on our layers panel and then move back to the layer properties, click on masking and click on a brush. Inside of the brush, make sure you're on the paint because we're going to paint on the areas where we want the texture to be. And now we're going to adjust the setting. The size we're going to adjust in a moment. The softness we want to leave on 100. And with the strength, let's start around 40. After this, let's zoom a little bit. And you can do that with the command or control plus on your keyboard. And while we have the brush selected, you can use a space bar to hit it and then move around the image. Now, first we're going to start to do is to paint the texture into our face. Let's make the brush a little bigger. We can use the bracket keys for that and start. Now you will see that when I click once, the texture disappear everywhere except the areas where I am painting. So now I can start to paint the texture into the face. So that's the first part. And if I want, I can adjust the size of my brush and continue and I paint over the nose, under the eyes and just continue painting the areas I like. Again, adjust the size under the nose, under the eye, cheek and come back. If I want, I can add more anywhere I want. So for example, on the cheek here, I can add more texture there. I can also add more over the nose and maybe again more on the other side of the cheek. So that's pretty much the face done. We can have a look at the before and after, and you can clearly see the difference. Now we can go down a little bit and continue on the rest of the skin. So again, we can adjust the size of our brush and just brush pretty much over this part of her skin. And again, move around adjust the size and again, brush over this area and again, there we go. Now, if we want, we can bring more texture again into the darker areas and there we have it. Now let's just zoom out 
And sometimes when you really zoom in, it looks too strong. But then when you zoom out, you can really see how it works well. Again, let's have a look at the before and after. And I really love the result. I really like how we brought the texture back and it's looking much more natural. Now, before we're going to finish, I want to show you two more things. First one, what to do if the texture is too strong? Well, it's really easy. We just go back to our layer properties, go into the properties tab and here just bring down the opacity slider to the point where you like the result. So you can really go low and you can make it much more smooth. It's really up to you. You can go up to 70, whatever you prefer. So let's go back to 100 and let's have a look at the second thing I wanted to show you. And that's what to do if the texture isn't strong enough. Sometimes that may be the case. Well, for this, it's really easy. Just do all the steps I show you until now. And after that, go into the layers panel and simply duplicate the texture layer. You can right click on it and click on duplicate the layer. You will see it's going to take a moment and then it will bring the texture together with the mask and everything back onto your image. So you can really see the difference now. When I hide the new layer, you will see where we started. And when I show it, you will see how much extra we got. Well, now it's a little bit too much, but that's where you can again use the knowledge we already learned. You can jump into the layer properties and just bring the opacity down on the new layer and adjust it to the result you are looking for. So this is a simple and a powerful way of how you can recreate a skin textures in Luminar Neo. All you need is the custom skin textures that you can get with our sample files, apply them to your layers panel, change the blend mode, and then use the masking tool to adjust them to make sure they only apply to the areas of the skin and the areas you are looking for. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cleverphotographer.com slash Luminar Gift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment, and share on this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Yeah.